name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Ilya Rakif. I am from Pakistan. I am super excited and thankful to God that I am able to connect with you through this video. Dear friends, in this short video, you will know about the life runners in Pakistan. First of all, I would like to share about life runners. Dr. Pat Castle is the founder. The world's largest pro-life team. Life runners run like a prayer to defend children in the womb so that they may be born and united with the Christian community. The dove represents the Holy Spirit bringing power, healing and peace. The mission of Life Runner to provide life-saving message for portion one labor's mother. The slogan of Life Runner God first, life always, and teammate forever. All in Christ for pro-life. Why Life Runners in Pakistan? This is very alarming that this Muslim country is estimated to have one of the highest rates of abortion in the world. It is indeed very shocking that about 6,000 abortions are taking place on daily basis and about 9 lakh abortions take place annually. 82% of post-abortion mothers said if they had encountered one supportive person or encouraging message, they would have chosen life. We started with five team members, but now with the will of God, we are about 50 active life runners, about 30 children and 20 adults. Hope and pray that Life Runner will keep growing in numbers and love of God, so this group can stop many abortions. Life Runner Ministry regularly keep praying for the alarming situation of abortion in Pakistan and for the whole world. We keep praying for all women who are being pressurized to do abortions. We believe that our prayers are giving strength to these women to say no to abortion. Life Runner leaders also conduct awareness sessions with different groups. We conduct these sessions in the churches, with community groups and other possible places. The formation of Life Runner in Pakistan is undoubtedly a plan of God. It is very interesting to share that how this chapter began in Lahore. Children of the Cross Ministry is already very active in our country. Mary Kloska from the United States is the founder of this ministry here in Pakistan. Her all books are translated into Urdu and being used for the spiritual welfare of the people. But her book, Holiness of Womanhood, has really healed many wounded women here in my place. The teaching of this book has stopped many abortions. This ministry has healed many women and given them power to say no to abortion. This ministry has also helped men in my culture to see the value and sacredness of life. I am sharing with so much gratitude that Dr. Sebastian is the man who not only motivated us to have life runner in Pakistan, but also guided us in each and every step how to work for this sacred mission.